क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेक् प्लस टेन थीटा माइनस वन एंड यहाँ इट इज सेक् माइनस टेन थीटा प्लस वन ना इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट विल बी सेक् प्लस टेन थीटा माइनस वन एंड यहाँ पे लिखोगे सेक् माइनस टेन थीटा प्लस वन तब हियर इफ यू कैन कम्बाइन दिस टू देन वी कैन राइट ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी फॉर दिस we can write here sec theta plus tan theta minus 1 we are grouping tan theta minus 1 together so it will be a plus b and again we can write sec theta minus tan theta minus 1 plus minus 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 plus so here you got a plus b a minus b and a plus b a minus b will be a square minus b square so a square theta minus <coughs> tan theta minus 1 whole square now sec square theta minus a minus b whole square a minus b whole square will be a square minus twice ab plus b square one square or one same thing so we are writing one only now this sec square theta If you see the right hand side, it is in, given in terms of tan theta. So this sec square theta, we can write sec square minus tan square is sec square theta minus tan square theta is one. So sec square theta will be one plus tan square. So sec square theta will be one plus tan square theta minus tan square theta minus minus plus two tan theta plus minus. Minus one. This plus tan square theta minus tan square theta can be cancelled. Plus one minus one can be cancelled. So you got two tan theta, which is the <coughs> right hand side. So just right here, R H S. Now second part of question number fourteen. Question is one plus cot theta minus cosec theta and one plus tan theta plus sec theta. Here a plus b a minus b like the previous time you cannot apply. So convert cot, cosec, tan, sec in terms of sine and cos. So it will be one plus cos theta by sine theta. Cosec theta is one by sine theta. Here it will be one plus sine theta by cos theta plus one by cos theta. Now we can take the LCM. Here actually it is one by one. Here also it is one by one. So LCM of sine theta, sine theta, and one, it will be sine theta. Sine theta divided by one is sine theta. Sine theta into one, sine theta plus sine theta by sine theta one, one into cos, cos theta minus sine theta divided by sine theta is one, one into one, one. Here, it will be cos theta. cos theta divided by 1 is cos theta cos theta into 1 cos theta plus cos divided by cos 1 1 into sin sin theta plus cos theta divided by cos theta 1 1 1 ja 1 now here we got sin plus cos minus 1 sin plus cos plus 1 so it can be considered as sin theta plus cos theta we can group together a minus b and here this is a plus b and divided by sin theta into cos theta now here it is a minus b a plus b it will be a square minus b square divided by sin theta into cos theta Now a plus b whole square. We know the formula is sine square theta plus cos square theta plus twice sine theta cos theta. For this part, a plus b whole square. It will be a square plus b square plus twice ab. And this is minus one minus one divided by sine into cos divided by sine theta into cos theta. Now sine square plus cos square. It is one one plus Two sine theta cos theta minus one divided by sine theta into cos theta. This plus one and minus one can be cancelled. 
So we got 2 sin theta cos theta divided by sin theta cos theta. This sin theta and cos theta can be cancelled. So net result is 2, which is the required right hand side. In first part of question number 15, it is given sec to the power 6 theta equal to 10 to the power 6 theta plus 3 10 square theta sec square theta plus 1. In the left hand side, here only sec, whereas in the right hand side it is 10 theta and sec theta. So, this sec to the power 6 theta, we can express it in terms of 10 theta. So, sec to the power 6 theta can be written as sec square theta to the power 3. Now, we know sec square theta minus 10 square theta. This is equals to 1. So, sec square theta will be 1 plus 10 square. So, instead of sec square theta, we can write 1 plus 10 square theta whole cube. Sec to the power 6 theta, instead of 6, we can write sec square to the power 3. 3 to the 6. Now, sec square theta will be 1 plus 10 square, 1 plus 10 square whole cube. Now, it is a plus b whole cube. A plus b whole cube will be a cube plus thrice a square b. Now for a plus b whole cube, we can write a cube plus b cube, a cube plus b cube, a plus b whole cube, what is the formula? A cube plus thrice a square b plus thrice a b square plus b cube. Clear? So this can be written as a cube plus b cube, a cube plus b cube. From this two, you take three ab common. You are going to get a plus b. So instead of this, if you apply this, then easily we are going to get the answer. So a plus b whole cube will be a cube plus b cube plus thrice ab a into b a plus b. Clear? a plus b whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus thrice a b a plus b. So it will be 1 cube is 1 plus 10 to the power 6 theta plus 3, 3 10 square theta and 1 plus 10 square. 1 plus 10 square will be sec square. Here you write sec square theta. Clear? 1 cube is 1 plus 10 3 to the 6 10 to the power 6 theta plus 3 10 square theta and 1 plus 10 square is x square. So here it can be written as 10 to the power 6 theta plus 3 10 square theta x square theta plus 1 which is the required RHS. Second part of question number 15. Question is cosec to the power 6 theta equal to cot to the power 6 theta plus 3 cot square theta cos x square theta plus 1. Just like the previous sum, start from the left hand side. Here we can write cos x to the power cos x to the power 6 theta. This can be written as cos x square theta to the power 3. Now we know cos x square theta cos x square theta minus cot square theta. This is equals to 1. So cos x square theta will be 1 plus cot square. So it will be 1 plus cot square theta to the power 3. Clear? Cos x square theta is 1 plus cos square theta to the power 3. Now it is a plus b whole cube. It will be a cube plus b cube. a cube plus b cube plus thrice a b. a b. Then a plus b. Clear? a cube plus b cube plus thrice a b a plus b. Now 1 plus cot to the power 3 to the 6, cot to the power 6 theta plus 3 cot square theta and we know 1 plus cot square, 1 plus cot square will be cos x square, cos x square theta. So this is the right hand side, you can rearrange it in the form of cot to the power 6 theta plus 3 cot square theta cos x square theta plus 1 which is the required RHS. In question number 16, question is 10a plus sin a by 10a minus sin a and we have to show that this is equal to sec a plus 1 by sec a minus 1. Now if you start from the left hand side, 10a plus sin a 
by 10a minus sin a. Now, this 10a can be expressed in terms of sin and cos. So, we can write sin a by cos a plus sin a. And here, instead of this 10a, we can write sin a by cos a minus sin a. Now, from the numerator, sin a can be taken common. If I take sin a common, then we are left with 1 by cos a plus 1. And from the denominator, if I take sin a common, then we are left with 1 by cos a minus 1. This sin a and this sin a can be cancelled. So we got 1 by cos a plus 1, 1 by cos a minus 1. And 1 by cos a is sec a plus 1 by 1 by cos a is sec a minus 1 which is the required RHS. Question number 17, question is sin square a cos square b minus cos square a sin square b and we have to show this is equals to sin square a minus sin square b. In the right hand side only sine terms are there. So this sin square a and sin square b will remain as it is. This cos square b and cos square a we have to change. So in the left hand side sin square a cos square b minus cos square a sin square b we are going to change this cos square b and cos square a. Now we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So cos square theta we need. So cos square theta will be 1 minus sin square. So instead of cos square b we can write 1 minus sin square b. And instead of cos square a we can write 1 minus sin square a. Now just multiply sin square a into 1 sin square a. Sin square a sin square b minus 1 into sin square b means sin square b minus minus plus sin square a sin square b. This sin square a sin square b and minus sin square a sin square b can be cancelled. So we got <coughs> sin square a minus sin square b which is the required right hand side. 17 second part and 18 you can do it yourself. They are similar sums. So try number 19. In question number 19 it is given sec theta minus 1 by sec theta plus 1 and it is given in terms of sin and cos. So the left hand side we can write sec theta to be 1 by cos theta minus 1 by 1 by cos theta plus 1. Now here LCM will be cos theta. So here you write cos theta. Cos theta divided by cos theta is 1. 1 1 ja 1 minus cos theta divided by 1 is cos theta. Cos theta into 1 is cos theta. In the denominator also similarly here we can consider 1 by 1. LCM will be cos theta, cos theta divided by cos theta 1, 1 into 1, 1, plus cos theta divided by 1 is cos theta, cos into 1, cos theta. 1 minus cos theta by cos theta into, since this divided by this, if I write this into this, so it will be reciprocal, so it will be cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. This cos theta and cos theta will cancel. So it will be 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Now if you see the answer, we need 1 plus cos theta whole square. In the right hand side it is given 1 plus cos theta whole square. So we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos theta. Generally in this type of sum, what we used to do, if it is plus we used to multiply by minus. But in this particular sum it is given 1 plus cos theta whole square. So since 1, 1 plus cos theta is there, so we are multiplied by another 1 plus cos theta. Why? Just to make it 1 plus cos theta whole square. So in the numerator it will be a plus b, a minus b, a square minus b square. In the denominator it will be 1 plus cos theta whole square. Now 1 minus cos square, 1 minus cos square is sine square. So we can write here sine square theta by 1 plus cos theta whole square which can be written as sine theta by 1 plus cos theta whole square and this is the required right hand side.